Hello and welcome to the Webster and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. Baidu and Yahoo are two joint forces for advertising. The EU rules that online geo-blocking is now illegal. And the average time spent on mobile apps continues to increase. Baidu and Yahoo Japan are due to join forces to bolster Chinese online advertising. The deal has been agreed in order to make it easier for Japanese companies to advertise on the Chinese search engine. This is due to the level of Chinese tourists in Japan continuing to increase whilst Japanese products continue to be in demand in China. Yahoo Japan will assist in handling advertising clients for Baidu in Japan whilst also offering consulting services to those clients trying to target Chinese consumers. These consultants will be able to access both Baidu's huge levels of data and Yahoo Japan's analytics technology. Baidu hopes that the move will lead to a 100% increase in ad sales in Japan in just one year. The European Commission has now agreed that geo-blocking is now illegal across the continent on the grounds of discrimination. In the past, retailers across Europe were permitted to locate a customer and charge them differing amounts dependent on their location. However, it's now been agreed by members from different nations across Europe that online stores must now charge the same amount to all customers regardless of what country they're buying from. Vice President ANSIP of the European Commission said that when you enter a shop in another EU country, the owner doesn't ask for your ID to determine the price of an item, so it should not happen online. The ruling will also assist in the creation of a single online European market, which is expected to affect the pricing of online music, films, and ebooks in the future as well. Time spent on mobile apps is continuing to rise in the UK as desktop loses out. A new study from Comscore shows that the average total minutes that users were spending on a desktop had decreased by 12% in the year leading up to September, whilst mobile use had increased by 11% from March. Comscore says in the report that this is likely caused by the continued increase in mobile app consumption. This increased use now represents over 80% of the time people spend on their devices and 50% of all time spent on any digital device put together. However, whilst the global trend of decreasing desktop time and increasing mobile app usage continues, app purchases are beginning to fall, with more than half of app users in the UK not downloading a single new app in September. A new estimate by eMarketer has suggested that mobile messaging app use is set to break a new milestone by 2019. Currently, messaging apps are used by just under 1.4 billion people, but this is expected to rise to 2.3 billion in just three years, reaching a quarter of the world's population. This increase would represent growth of around 16% each year. The highest level of growth will come from Indonesia, where this year alone it's expected to see a 21% increase in messaging app use compared to 2015. Kathy Boyle, principal analyst of mobile at eMarketer, said that mobile messaging apps have taken off because they are a cheaper alternative to texting. She also added that the expansion of messaging apps into platforms that include chatbots is increasing the way in which users can be engaged by marketers. And finally, Uber has defended itself after a legal challenge in Europe. The case against Uber is looking into whether the taxi-hailing company breaks transportation and competition laws. However, the company itself has said that it can't be reduced to merely a transport service. If the company is defined by the court as a transportation service, then it must comply with European transport laws. If it's defined as an intermediary that connects independent drivers with customers, then it will open up more opportunities for Uber, such as providing a food delivery service. And that's it from me today. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos, and more. See you next time.